So House Republicans could vote to approve an impeachment inquiry into Biden as soon as tomorrow while we await Hunter's closed door deposition. Here to tell us more is House Majority Leader Congressman Steve Scalise. Uh, you know, Leader, it looks like this has become uh, the prosecution aspect versus the inquiry aspect. Can you explain to the audience on how you get to the inquiry versus the full prosecution? Yeah, well, the first thing that we've been doing is collecting evidence, and you've seen this with multiple committees. Jamie Comer's committee, uh, the House Oversight Committee has been doing the bulk of the work, Jim Jordan's committee, Judiciary, uh, as well as Jason Smith's Ways and Means Committee have also brought witnesses forward. Uh, but you've seen an array of items come forward. Obviously, all these shell corporations, the millions and millions of dollars that have been identified, uh, checks going into Joe Biden's account. Ultimately, the White House has changed their story multiple times. But there's still more evidence we're trying to get, and the White House is blocking that evidence. That's why we need to exercise more subpoena powers, and having this vote on impeachment inquiry gives us the best opportunity to get more facts out, to continue searching, to ultimately let the people see what's really going on with this investigation and let it lead to uh, ultimately where the facts continue to come out further. So, meanwhile, while, while this is going on in Congress, Hunter Biden's attorney is asking for the indictment to be dismissed. This is what he told uh, uh, in that letter. He said the indictment against Mr. Biden must be, must be dismissed because it violates a divergent agreement that is in effect between Mr. Biden and the prosecution. In exchange for Mr. Biden giving up various rights, the prosecution agreed to provide immunity. This prosecution is not legally authorized because David Weiss was unlawfully appointed as special counsel. The problem is the Delaware judge threw this agreement out of the window. So what is he talking about? Look, he's been trying to block this. The White House has been trying to block getting the facts out. Uh, you've seen uh, even with archives, there's alias names that Joe Biden was using that they're trying to obfuscate a lot of the facts. That's why we need to have the vote on impeachment inquiry tomorrow and then ultimately bring this before a judge because the White House is trying to keep the public from seeing all the facts. We're going to get the facts out one way or another. And I think as people see more facts, they're alarmed. Uh, people recognize recognize the web of deception. There's money coming from foreign countries. We've seen Chinese money coming into the Biden family through multiple accounts. Again, multiple shell companies. How many people use 20 plus shell companies? Millions and millions of dollars coming from foreign countries. Uh, Hunter wasn't registered as a foreign agent. We've seen Joe Biden change his tune on what the relationship was uh, on the business dealings with his son. He said he had no involvement in his son's businesses. That turned out to be false. He's actually getting direct cash payments. There's more to come. But the White House is trying to block more information. That's why we're going to continue to get the facts and have this vote tomorrow. Yeah. No one can really tell us what Hunter really did, especially when you got the fouling. Uh, from the prosecution's special counsel saying that all this money that he was spending on travel and all that wasn't for business because the money was actually going to hookers and prostitutes. Uh, you guys will have to make that case to the American people, though. Congressman, thanks so much for joining the program. Great being back with you. Thanks. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.